Eight anomalies have been discovered at 3A Atlas. Then there's the question, why do they not release the images that they have taken already early October? We're still waiting for that. And now people are having various theories about that. And it is reaching solar conjunction. So what's going on with 3i Atlas that is baffling everyone from theories, it's just a normal comet, it's an interstellar object, or is it aliens? So we're laughing at these theories, but you know, we always have to be prepared for everything because there is some thing that some people say that could make sense, but does it? Well, we will see. Interstellar object 3A Atlas reaches solar conjunction tomorrow or right now, whenever you watch this video. So what does that mean? You see that image here. Basically, we will not be able to see it anymore from Earth because the sun is between Atlas and Earth. So we can't see what's going on. And then on October 29th, it will reach perihelion. It will be closest to the sun. And that's where I've reported about this that Harvard scientist says, this is the optimal Oberth maneuver time or window where it's hidden from Earth and we can see it. So what he basically says, if 3i Atlas is a mothership, that would be the best timing to send something down on Earth. Guys, hey, <laughs> I really don't know. Does that sound credible? It sounds like unimaginable, right? I guess we will find out very, very shortly. But let's stick more to the scientific proof that we have. Maybe that makes us feel better. The eight anomalies, right? And uh, let's start, what about these images, maybe they could clarify something. So the high rise camera, it's high rise stands for high resolution imaging science experiment. It's a camera you see it here on NASA's website. It's quite an impressive big camera and it's on board the reconnaissance Mars orbiter to observe Mars. So it's on board of this satellite and it has been orbiting and studying Mars since 2006. It weighs 65 kilograms and it's a $40 million instrument which was built under the direction of the University of Arizona's Luna and Planetary Laboratory by Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corporation. So they have pictures, they have new pictures from this high-rise camera since I think the first few days in October, October 2nd, October 3rd, but they're not releasing them yet. And so speculation is, is this intentionally because they have found something that we're not supposed to know? Or is it just the government shutdown? If you look at the NASA website, it's like, we're out of office, nobody's here, we're not getting paid, we're not updating the website. I mean, are they even observing anything? Who knows? I mean, if there were aliens on 3i Atlas, they will have a party. I'm like, well, they're not even observing us. So it makes it even easier to come down to Earth, right? So this thing, for sure, it's the third interstellar object that they have ever discovered. Let's just quickly look at the eight anomalies. I have reported in detail about this in my latest video. I'll put this in the end screen if you wanna have a little bit more background information about this. I'm talking about that anti-tail, the a jet that's pointed towards the sun that we see in this image here. Then we have a high nickel to iron ratio in its gas plume and we have an orbit aligned within five degrees of the ecliptic and that's our odds that something does that are under 0.2 percent and it has this green glow it's losing water which it shouldn't so lots of things that are not normal with this thing and when it will reach perihelion it will slip behind the sun on october 29th behind the sun's glare so to speak 
during that time, any unseen influence could theoretically affect its post-Sun emerge trajectory and what we see when it returns to view. What could that be, like the effects on it, the solar gravity, solar flares, and jets? I will keep you updated, guys. Again, for more detailed information where you can find everything that we know till today about 3A Atlas, click this video here in the end screen and I'll see you there.